would teach how to design and build special purpose computers that interact with the physical world. They're called embedded systems. We're here today at the Expo for Introduction to Embedded System Design. What you're seeing behind me here is student teams demonstrating the projects that they designed and implemented in the last few weeks of the course. Students in this class learn the basics of designing special purpose computer systems. So they learn microprocessors, reconfigurable hardware, sensors, and actuators like motors. We have a project that is two synchronously moving robots. The way that they synchronize is actually using a leader bot and a follower bot. So you're actually controlling the leader bot either with a line following array or an N64 controller. And then the follower bot maintains its orientation and direction using a camera that follows color and IR sensors to use distance. And the goal of that is to help carry objects in a warehouse type setting. This is our unmanned foosball opponent. The main idea is that we have an AI that controls the red team on our foosball table. So that way you can play against an artificial intelligence and test your skills against a machine instead of a human player. So Dance Dance Revolution, a game you can play with your feet. Uh, we made it so that you have a board on each foot that hits each arrow in whatever direction you're playing the game in. That way you don't have to carry a giant mat around with you anywhere. It has an IMU in it, connects wirelessly through Bluetooth. Easy, simple, painless. We are Team BP Champs, and for our final project, we decided to build a beer pong shooter. The way that it works is the user would use a Nintendo 64 controller to be able to control the shooter's horizontal, vertical, and power settings. The idea basically is for the user to bring this to parties and just have a good time. So what we have here is a conventional alarm clock, but the trick is when the alarm goes off, uh, there are two wireless beacons. And before you went to bed, you set up these two wireless beacons, and now to shut the alarm off, you need to pick up the two wireless beacons, which wakes them up, stack them on top of each other, and shake them. And then the alarm will go off and you won't go back to bed. Students can take the skills they've learned in this course into the real world, where they identify problems and design and build special purpose computer systems to solve them. If you want to learn how to build embedded systems, you'll love this course.